In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A very warm welcome to this online service from St Chad's and St Luke's Skirton. An opportunity to pray together, to think about how God might support us in this difficult time, and to worship using some music recorded by members of our community. Joining together to pray in this way reminds us that scattered across Skirton and the surrounding area though we might be, there are people supporting each other, praying for our area, trusting that God is present in our midst. Before we begin our online service, I wanted to share with you some words from Psalm 139, which have helped me during this period. You have searched me, Lord, and known me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my coming in. You are familiar with all my ways. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. Our God is a God who knows us, who notices us, even when things are difficult. So as lockdown continues, remember this. Darkness cannot hide us from God. He notices us. He is still here. As I reach the end of this week, there are always so many things that I wish I had done differently. So calling to mind those times when we have been unwise or uncaring or unthinking. Let us pray to God for his forgiveness. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make your face shine upon us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May your ways be known on the earth, and your saving power among the nations. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You, Lord, have made known your salvation, and reveal your justice in the sight of the nations. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, 
Let us pray that God might begin to transform those difficult parts of ourselves and our lives. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace, and in the renewal of our lives make known your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. The Gospel is from the first chapter of John, starting at the 43rd verse. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him, he said of him, Here is truly an Israelite, in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you come to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Very truly, I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. This is the word of the Lord. May I speak in the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I saw you while you were still under the fig tree, before Philip called you. Nathaniel sits under the fig tree. We know no more than that. We cannot tell if this was an important or an unexceptional moment, a break between jobs, or if he sat there to pray. We cannot tell whether under the fig tree he laughed. Or he cried but Jesus saw him when might Jesus have seen us I saw you paused and lonely at your kitchen table before I called you I saw you laughing with your son under the oak tree before I called you I saw you sat under the harsh lights at the hospital reception before I called you God has noticed you even from the very beginning. Long, long before this story, in the Old Testament, in the very first book of the Bible, a young woman called Hagar walks through the wilderness. She is a slave, mistreated, cast out into the wilderness. She places her son under a bush because she cannot bear to see him die. Her life is painful and lonely. Visited by an angel who brings water to save her son, she names God El Roy, the God who sees me. This is a God who notices her discarded pain, who visits her when there is no one to care. A God who recognises people as important, even when the world forgets that they are. Sometimes it's easy to feel invisible, especially at the moment. We're spending so much more time alone and at home, isolated, fraught with work and schooling. The world can seem forgetful. But what our Gospel reading today tells us is that our God is a God who sees us. Be comforted. You are not alone or insignificant or forgotten. 
But there is a challenge and a responsibility here too. You are important, and this means that what you do is important. You matter, and what you do matters. So consider what it is that God sees. The parts of your life that you try to hide. The dark places you ignore. And pray and allow God to begin to heal all that is broken. But this is not all. For Jesus says too, you will see greater things than these. You will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending. Again, Jesus is remembering the Old Testament, where Jacob lies under the stars, a stone for a pillow, and he dreams of a stairway resting on the earth, with its top reaching to heaven, where the angels of God are ascending and descending. It's a strange image, perhaps even slightly psychedelic. But when Jesus reimagines this dream, what he means is simple. He is the connection between heaven and earth. And then Jesus begins to show us how the world will be, lets us glimpse his new creation. His miracles transform the sadness of our world, parties full of joy and abundance, beloved children healed, lives repaired. You just have to read on. You will see great things, Jesus says. You will see God's kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. So, Jesus says, I see you. Now, come and see. Wow. 
Why should I gain from his reward? I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my ransom. Our prayers for this morning come from one of the children in our community at St Luke's who has shared what she would like to pray for. So let us pray. Dear God, we would like to pray for your support and encouragement for all our friends and family who are undertaking schoolwork at home during this difficult time. Provide them with the strength they need to carry on when things seem too difficult and they feel like giving up. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear God, we would like to pray for all the teachers and nursery staff who are still working in schools and childcare settings. They continue to work really hard to provide for children whose parents are critical key workers, giving them passion for learning and genuine love and care as they have always done. Without any hesitation, they turn up for their day and risk their lives. May you give them strength and guidance. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear God, we would like to pray for everyone in our local community, the areas in and around Lancaster and Morecambe, as the numbers of coronavirus infections are rising. We pray for health. Send your strength and love to those who have been affected by the virus, or those who may be poorly at this time. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Dear God, we would like to pray for anyone who isn't feeling themselves lately due to changes or challenges occurring in their personal life where they may not feel strong enough to deal with these things alone. Remind them that they are worthy and they are loved. Send them the strength they need to make the changes that they need to make. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we pray for those who have died recently. For all those whom we love and miss. And for all those who are sick at this time. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. During lockdown, a service will be posted online each week, often maybe more than one service, so do keep an eye on our YouTube channel. Please join us. If you would like to be involved or to contribute anything, that would be very welcome, so please do get in touch using the details in the video description. Or if you would like me to pray for you or for someone who you know, do get in touch. And so a final blessing as we begin this new week. May God the Father, who led the wise men by the shining of a star, to find the Christ, the light from light, lead you also in your pilgrimage to find the Lord. May God, who has delivered us from the dominion of darkness, give us a place with the saints in light, in the kingdom of his beloved Son. May the light of the glorious gospel of Christ 
shine in your hearts and fill your lives with his joy and his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Um.